day we've arrived at the Riverside Museum. Yep. Then if I look around, this used to be the old transport museum, which was up at the Kelvin Grove Museum, yeah. Yep. So it's moved out to the waterside now. There's a lot more exhibits in it, as well as just transport, I think. Uh, they've got a wee cafe as well. And a restaurant, I think. A restaurant, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. And they've also got the tall ship outside it. Yep. So we're going to have a look at that. So we should spend a couple of hours in here. And uh, like all our Glasgow museums, there's no entry free, so it's free. Just need to pay for parking. That's, that's not too bad. So let's go and see, yep. what, we can, see what we can see inside. Okay. So Leslie just said that these glass balls are the high end prizes. Were the high end prizes that we could win at the fair. I think this was the fair section. And then you get these things. I had one of these. I think I won one of them at a fair once. I don't know what they're called. They're not gunks. Uh, yes, gunks. Gonk, gonk. Yeah, gunks. Gonk, gonk dolls. I remember those. Yeah, some perfect. Strange things. Carousel. That's the horse from the carousel. So this is actual recreation of an old street. We've got the old cobbles, the trams. We can take a walk around the corner, look at the shops. This is an old saddler's we're going to now. So this is one of the old shops. Yeah. Shows you some of the old tools that they used to use. This is Mr. Drysdale's shoe and bootmakers. Some of his boots he used to make. Ah, is that an old machine for polishing up? Ah, the old pub. Well, this is time for a drink. <laughs> Do you have a thirst on you, have you? <laughs> Some of the selections of drink. <laughs> We've got an actual old carriage from Subway here. I would try and squeeze it in, it gets a bit quieter. Yeah, so you turn that and then pulled a cable and pulled the trams up and down the track and a cable and then 1935 electricity came in. So I just pulled that, so I'm quite strong to pull it. <laughs> I think this is the main hall in the museum. You see you've got lots of more bikes on the wall there. I think actually that might be one that Ewan McGregor used. I need to go check that out. Long way around. And that one there and that one there. Ewan McGregor and Charlie Borman. So they've been all the way around the world those bikes. <laughs> this must be cow class economy. And this must be first class. So this is first class. Nice luxury seats. Get the bells here, you want it off? That was the old one of the old police cars, which myself and Leslie do remember. 
Work good today, thank you. That's what the car is in the boot. I found one of the exhibits relating to a famous Scotsman, Graham O'Brien. And this was his famous bicycle, which he made out of parts from a washing machine, I think, I think it was. So he set a world record on this bike, I believe. Heading up to look at this train. I never went by a train driver. What? Never went by a train driver, no. He no. <laughs> got in there shoveling all the coals in. Too much of the hard work, if you ask me. That's where all the coal used to be. And you've got to stoke the wee fire. Keep that stoked up. Let's just jump on a tram for a ride. There's a wee bell there, we're going to go off. You get wee windows you can open up. Got some fresh air. There's a button there, take it off. Table of fares. You see this? I don't understand. I don't understand this old money. Shillings. shillings. But Leslie understands old money, I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie's even spotted the section of the Star Wars toys. Yeah. <laughs> I had used to have some of these figures. There's a small boy. With Han Solo. Yeah, I had these. Remember these? There's even a Sinclair Zero Spectrum. I had one of those as well. Horus goes skiing. I actually played that game. Good times. Is that Ken? Yep. Ken there. Just reminds me of Toy Story. This is us upstairs now. We've got plenty of seats down in the cafe. The outside they've got the sailing ship. I should migrate there later, take a look at that. I just spotted this picture up here. Roller coasters. That was, was only there for the Glasgow Garden Festival. Yeah? That was 1988. You would have been 17 then, dear. Ah, but I'd have quite childhood. <laughs> You must have, because it's the biggest thing going on. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> <laughs> it looks quite good, actually. Quite a good roller coaster. Quite a good roller coaster. I wonder how many people recognise that thing. C5, was it? I think for C5, yes. Never had one, but. Never had these. I had the Spectrum. I've actually still got one of these, believe it or not. I've still got one of those calculators and it works, I believe. I need to check it on eBay and see if it's worth earning any money. Remember that game? I played that game. Manic Miner. There's an old ambulance. I remember seeing them skinning about the streets. There's a lot of ambulances. See if we can look in the back. See if they keep in the back in the ambulance. Looks a bit different from nowadays. Quite basic. There's a Porsche 911. I always wanted one of those. And Leslie says she had two dollar Michael Metro. Some of the old famous bikes. No, I always wanted to chop them. I had a rally, had one of them. Never had one of those. I loved how it had the, the gear lever on it. I don't know if that made a difference. 
I'm always jealous. My pals are the choppers. How cool is that bike? So we're heading onto the tall ship. So this is the Glen Lee. It was built in 1896. And that's it now. You got to swap the decks. That's it. You missed a spot there. <laughs> this is this is down below the decks. So that's all the that's all the sales. I think that's the sales here. Yeah. Also the ropes, they had to repair them and make them on board. Can anybody spot the hidden Remy? <laughs> There's two. I'm going to head down below into the cargo hold. Oh. Be very careful here. Made our way to the engine room. Okay, watch your head. It's a bit, it's a bit cramped in here. So you can actually play the noise the engines are making. So that's what it'd be like normally if you're right here working. That was your hearing. Quite loud. I think we'll get out of here. This is where they kept all the grease monkeys. They've actually got a cafe on board the, the boat. That's not a bad place, actually. That's the cafe in there. This is a, it's quite a small room, don't think you can see much, but this is a small room for four apprentices. So they had to share. They got a mattress up there, it's quite a small bed though. This first ship sailed, he Mother never wanted him to go. How did he die? Dysentery. 17 he was. And his mother never told that she didn't want him to go. And no one got to visit his grave until 1988 when his great niece visited. Where are you going to steer us, Lila? <laughs> Straight to Florida. <laughs> Of course, we had to exit through the gift shop. Some good things in here. I found some that I used to get, get as a wee boy. I don't know if you remember these. These wee set of gliders you made. You fitted them together. I think they made a foam of cast iron. Remember them? They even get rocks. Stick a rock. Glasgow rock. I don't think Glasgow to it. That's the most important section we found. There we go, a whole section devoted to iron brew. Can I get some earrings? No, they suit you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading back down the road. We're heading towards Bray Head now. So I'm going to stop in there, get some tea. It's quite a lot of places to be. Actually, just outside Bray Head, there's an actual Denny's. I've never actually ate at Denny's before. I know the, the Rees family rave about it. They've recommended we go there quite often, but... Don't know what the British one's like. Yeah, we've not tried that one. No. So, we've just got to go into Bray Head, go to the food court, and see if we can pick up in there. So, the last time we went there, we went to the handmade burger co, which was fantastic, I loved that. They've got Nando's, they've got Five Guys as well. They've got lots of places in there, so, we'll see what we fancy. We've made it to Bray Head. We're going to head towards some of the food court. 
then Leslie wants to go to the Disney store, of course. She it's wants only to a pop-up Disney store, though. It's not, yeah. a, it's not a very good one. It's only a pop-up, which popped up about two or three years ago, and it's never gone. <laughs> So we decided to go for the handmade burger co. We've been here before, once before. Burgers were delicious, so you know we can't get on with this place. My food has arrived. A bacon burger. Cajun fries, I think they are. Yeah. And Lysel's went for a cheese. Yeah, cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. That's a bacon one. Give me a sneak peek in there. Look at the bacon in that. Whole pig in there. We we'll finished the handmade burger co. That was delicious. Only came to thirty-one pound. I think we had between us we had about five drinks, two burgers, and two fries. Now we're going to head to the Disney store for Leslie. You want a Starbucks while we're here? No. <laughs> if you do, we'll go first. Yes, let's go for Starbucks. <laughs> Me, I've got my Starbucks, so I'm happy. So we're going to head down to the Disney store now for Leslie. It's only a small pop up store. See, it says pop up Disney. Yeah. But I think Leslie might be able to pick something up. You could always get something. You can see it's not a very big store. I usually pick up one or two things. Pajamas. <laughs> I found a forky. It's lost a hand. But it's broken. That's what it should look like. <laughs> Poor forky. Billy has to eat his words here because I never bought anything in the Disney store. But who did? That's very, yeah, who did? It's very unusual. I just happened to spot something I liked. <laughs> it was on sale, so I put it not to. It's just a small keyring. Mickey Mouse, £1.50, I think it was. Mm -hmm. so. Yep, I never bought a thing. Mm. That was very good. I think that's the <laughs> first time ever. That's a new record. <laughs> so I think that's it for today. I'm going to end the vlog here. Because we're just going to go home, unpack, and relax. So, thanks for watching. Check the channel for more content, hopefully, coming soon. And we'll see you next time.